everyone. Welcome back to Becoming Remarkable with Dr. Johnny and myself, Dr. Emily. So, I wanted to talk about sleep. We all hear, hey, you need to get seven, eight hours of sleep every night. And I don't know about you, sometimes it helps me to understand why I need to do something as opposed to just be told I need to do something. So let's talk a little bit about how becoming more remarkable and sleep go together. If you are not at your very best, how can you be the most remarkable you can be if your body is not allowing you to do it or your mind's not allowing you to do it? So what are some of the benefits of getting enough sleep? Did you know that adults, no matter if you are elderly or you are a young adult, you need to have seven to nine hours of sleep every single night. And if you are a child or a teenager, they need even more. Well, when you sleep, what is going on? Why does our body need seven to nine hours worth of sleep? A lot of repair goes on within our body. Our body shuts down about 50%, including our brain activity. So our digestive system, our breathing, our saliva, our brain activity, all of that calms down. And while it's calmed down, our body is secreting hormones and is getting things back balanced, it's repairing broken cells, it's mending tissue, it is rebuilding and um, filling up our mind with preparation for the next day. When we get enough sleep, we become more creative. We're able to be more productive during the day. We are at a lower risk of high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, um, decreased um, things that can happen to our body. There's also been studies have shown that decrease of risk of cancer of having enough sleep. What also happens? We are in a better mood. Our skin also has the ability to clear up and to repair itself. I can keep going on and on down the list of our physical abilities, but also just being in a better mood, being able to cope with what's all happening during the day, whether it's positives or things that you were surprised about that you can maybe even plunk plump into a negative pile. It helps you be better. So how do you get that enough sleep? Well, one of the tools, or there's a number of tools, you can look all of this up, but getting on a regular schedule, going to sleep around the same time and waking up at the same time every day, get your body into a rhythm. Making sure your room is really dark. Did you know if you wear one of those eye masks or have blockout curtains, if you don't have any ambient light, you'll be able to go to sleep quicker and stay asleep, asleep longer with the night, with the room being dark. Lower the temperature in the room. That also helps you stay asleep longer and um, continue to sleep and go to sleep quicker. The other thing is watch your caffeine intake. Let's go with no caffeine at least four hours before you go to sleep and watch what you're eating. Increase the amount of sugar and high fat and eating within about two hours before you go to bed, or some studies even say three or four hours before you go to bed, affects how well and how quickly you can go to sleep and how long you will stay asleep. So guys, let's, let's get on a rhythm this week. Let's look at that importance of sleep and become the best you can be by being in the most remarkable always. Have a blessed day and a blessed week ahead.